right. Today's topic is not that important, rather just a FYI. And uh, the topic is sometimes uh, you may see the war log, last log in your system is huge. So how could that happen? The file system, the file can be even larger than your file system. So let's uh, take an um, uh, example system and find out. Uh, let me open the document I'm going to use. Let's see which is my document. Uh, here it is. So this is my document. Uh, basically, um, if uh, people working on certain Linux, especially nowadays the 64-bit architecture, uh, for example, on Red Hat Linux, Enterprise Linux, when they are we may f be surprised and uh, we have unimaginable big files uh, in our system. Uh, let's start with a uh, example, okay? Here's the example I show um, this command, okay? So let me copy this command and go to a sample system. So the sample system I'm going to use, it is called R9. He represents Red Hat 9. So I'm going to SSH to that system using root, okay? R9. So I'm in the system. So in this system, uh, sometimes when people are troubleshooting the disk or space usage, we want to find what is the large file in our system, okay? So this is the command I'm going to run. So basically, I use the find command, uh, specify by what kind type of file, and what is the size, the minimum size, and then pipe to the source. I give a list of files, okay? So uh, we can talk about these things in another video, but today's video, I just run this command and we will see it's given me a list of file in descending order. The first file I find is 128 key, it's the proc key file. The second file I find is slash var slash log slash last log is nearly half terabytes. That is not possible because we don't have those large files. So what what could this happen? So after do some Google internet search, so the, here's the answer, okay? The answer is, let's confirm, okay? So let me do a ls rt h and use the human readable format. If we list this file, yeah, it does says 400, uh, 404 gig. Similarly, if we um, list this one, it does give us 122 terabytes. So those files, it's not possible because our system is very small. You cannot hold those large files. Like um, in my system, the stash um, is only like a day, 50, 51 gig. And you cannot hold like 500 gig files, okay? So now the question is, um, what those file is? And after do some internet search, you will find, uh, today we'll just talk about this one. So those files like uh, key core or last log in the Linux world is called the special files, okay? So let's read the text file, okay? So the last log file, it is in the Linux world called sparse file. The sparse file is a file that contains empty spaces. That means it doesn't actually take up a file system space. So although the list command shows us this is um, very big, 
However, it doesn't really take the space. So the command we can confirm this is use the du, disk usage. So let's run this command so you can find du, let's use k, and var log loss. You see that actually the file is only 28 gig if we use the du command, not the ls command. Okay, so that is um, just um, understand this file is a special file and this file start. If we use a find and pipe to ls, if we find it, we can just simply skip it or ignore it. Okay. So in this example, this is actually my largest file in all this, in the whole file system. Okay, so we can also confirm, for example, the the proc file k k call is actually zero bytes. Okay, kilobytes. Let's see the real size. Probably just a zero, but. Uh, it's like a virtual file. It doesn't consume the disk space while when you use the ls. Um, it is, let's see, what is ls? ls is a list to directory contents and minus l, let's see. And here it is. List, long list, yeah. The, uh, a long list uh, format they give us the, the information about the file size, the timestamp, etc. But uh, the size, if it's a special file, it is not uh, the real disk usage. To see the disk usage, we're going to use DU to look at the, the true size, okay? And But most of the case is fine because we are always use LS to look at the, the directories, files, and as we know, for special files like Kiko and last log, it's not give us the true file size. Like, okay, so this is FYI. For example, when you're troubleshooting a disk, you usually see all my disk is nearly full. What is the large file of directory we are using? So if you see these things, you can simply ignore and focus on other things. All right, so this is a short video for FYI.